Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So, PS5. That's why you click this video. You saw PS5 in the title. A lot of you guys are wanting to know when will the stock shortages get better for the PlayStation 5. And it looks like there's some unfortunate bad news in the world of stocks and the PlayStation 5. So let's get right to this news article courtesy of IGN. Before I get to it though, if you are not subscribed yet to the channel guys, we're halfway to 85,000 subscribers. Click the red subscription button down below. Thank you so much as always. So check this out. Sony is now expecting PS5 shortages to continue into next year. And it's always seemed like we kind of never had a direct answer from anybody. We've seen various answers various opinions and things like that there is a rumor that this is going to last until mid 2022 with these stock shortages um but earlier this year we've heard that right now in the summer we should be seeing a little bit more better news so i don't know if maybe the xbox has a different situation than the ps5 does who knows, right? But this says PS5 stock looking to remain scarcer than planned into 2022. This is unfortunate news, especially if you were looking to get yourself a PS5. So this goes on to say it sounds as though PS5 uh, supplies will continue to be limited into 2022. It was never going to be easy launching a new console in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. Not that anybody planned it, but it happened. And Bloomberg now reports that Sony has spoken to a group of analysts about the supply constraint issues affecting PS5 supplies, reportedly warning in that shortages will continue into 2022. So this is going to be unfortunate for some of you guys. So continuing on, this is a, a quote from Hiroki Totoki. What a name. I hope I didn't butcher that. Uh, I don't think demand is coming down this year. And even if we secure a lot more devices and produce many more units of the PlayStation 5 next year, our supply wouldn't be able to catch up with demand, Hiroki Totoki reportedly told the analyst. So global shortages of semiconductors, which we keep hearing about these stinking semiconductors. It's literally like a $2 piece of equipment it's affecting tvs computers consoles um you name it all sorts of electronic devices rely on these semiconductors so these are used in almost all computing devices has made it increasingly difficult for the continuing demand for ps5 consoles to be met semiconductors are a crucial part of the ps5 architecture and the shortages have led to delays in the console's production cycle so ever since the PS5 launched in November 2020, it has been difficult for both retail stores and consumers to get their hands on one. Both the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and the trade war started by the um, Trump administration against China have affected the ability for electronics manufacturers to get a hold of these parts. It was previously reported that AMD, which produces chips for PS5, expected shortages to continue into 2021. So this was a while back, AMD, uh, they were even considering teaming with Samsung to produce these. They felt that it would go into 2021. Now the rumor is it's going into 2022. What in the world is going on here, guys? <laughs> like, uh, this chip shortage for, for the COF, for the Corona COF to, uh, cause this much of a dilemma over semiconductors this is pretty crazy uh we've never seen anything really like this um and who knows it could go longer i i think in my honest opinion it's going to be a lot shorter than what they're saying i think these are just damage control blanket statements just in case they're preparing for the worst but i i highly doubt we're going to see stock shortages going well into 2022, if I'm going to be completely honest. That's just my opinion. But Sony has previously been vocal and suggestion that it wants to surpass the second year sales of the PS4, which totaled 14.8 million units. However, issues with the particular chips needed might get in the way of achieving that target. Ideally, Sony would want to keep up with or even exceed the early sales of the PlayStation 4, but that is looking increasingly challenging at this point. So yeah, the semiconductor issue 
uh, is causing a lot of problems. Uh, if you could remember back in April, Jim Ryan, the PlayStation CEO, said that they were looking to increase the PS5 supply. Um, and and I just a while back, about a week or two ago, I reported the news that it actually is the uh, fastest selling console in the United States. And it's looking to break some more PlayStation records. I believe the PS2 holds a record right now at the, the moment. Um, I Don't quote me on that. I don't remember what I reported. <laughs> I don't remember what I did an hour ago. Anyways, continuing on to this. Uh, he said he was, Jim Ryan said there were discussions with AMD, who again is the chip supplier, about increasing these productions. And uh, But this latest news kind of contradicts that it's not going to happen. If this should, does remain true, if it does take till 2022, um, then we won't be seeing an increase here. So it is definitely disappointing news to those of you that are looking to get a PS5. You know, considering everything that we've talked about on this channel, we've been following the PlayStation 5 uh, restocks for quite some time. And it's the same cycle, very limited production of stock that goes out. None of it's in stores yet, so we're having to combat with, uh, you know, scalpers, having to combat resellers, having to combat website issues, all that stuff. That This is not changing. This is not going away. We're already into the middle of May. <laughs> These consoles have been up for pre-order and restock back since September, October. Things aren't changing, and it doesn't look like they are. So this is a lot of bad news for people that are wanting to get it. And it's frustrating because we do see reports like the article I said the other day where they're praising the stats, the global shipping of the PlayStation 5 to where there's more units than ever before out there, but people don't have their hands on them because scalpers... More than likely, there's probably a warehouse somewhere with several PlayStation 5 units under the control of a reseller, but we can't do anything about that, right? Um, and it looks like these uh, the stock situation is not getting better. We can't do anything about it. Uh, it's kind of crazy to think about semiconductors being such a huge piece of technology. For something so small and little, a huge piece of technology for not just consoles, but for a lot of electronics. Um, unless there's some kind of way that they could make a alternative. I, I know that there's a rumor that they're looking into making redesigns, possibly. But who really knows at this point? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. I know some of y'all are frustrated, so let it out. Let it all out in the comment section again subscribe if you have it already guys i would definitely appreciate you guys joining the nation and help get me to my goal of a hundred thousand subscribers thanks for watching guys y'all have a good one